Hey guys, what's up? I'm gonna show you something super cool today. I'm gonna show you how to fix cymbals that might have cracks in them, they might be broken. And I'm gonna show you how to do it for only about 20 bucks. The first thing you need is a rotary tool. I'm showing you the one on screen now, the exact model that I got. It is pretty good overall. The accessories with it are not very good. So that brings me to the next item. You're gonna need these Dremel bits. I chose to get reinforced uh, discs for the Dremel. The Dremel brand bits do work on this model of rotary tool um, and they're pretty high quality so I would go ahead and just get those. The next thing you're gonna need to do is set up your Dremel. I'm not gonna show you how to do that simply because it's very easy and the WEN rotary tool comes with a really easy to set up uh, instruction manual. So if you need any help with that, Throw me a comment, but right now um, I'm just going to skip to the video of how we begin fixing the actual symbols. Okay, so now that you have your Dremel set up, uh, obviously the first thing you're going to want to do is identify the cracks in your symbol. I mean, obviously you probably already know where they're at. You know, there's a lot of different ways that you can go about doing this. You can take chunks out, um, you know, and then later go along one of these grooves and simply you know, cut around the symbol to make it an even diameter. You just end up having a much smaller symbol than you started with, which is okay. Um, you know, but with this, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do that or not since it's an ozone uh, symbol. The holes might get in the way, and it's kinda why I'm using this symbol as a project. It's got a ton of cracks in it. I've never tried doing this, so obviously I'm not a professional, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that know how to Dremel and cut cymbals and all sorts of stuff much better than I do. Um, but this is just my take on it and we're going to see how it turns out. Um, so once you know where you're going to cut and you know you kind of figure out a game plan, then basically you just start cutting. Uh, make sure obviously you wear safety glasses and just go for it. So here we go. You might not be able to see it from over here. Um, uh, I'm making an outline, just sort of tracing the block that I'm cutting out. You can see that. Um, and if you just kind of go over that, it'll eventually sort of pop out. But for now, that's sort of what we're doing. So here we go. Certainly, you could stop here, um, you know, and just have a really weird, kind of cool looking symbol uh, that does not have cracks. It already sounds a lot better, I promise. Before it was all crazy with the cracks in it. Um, you know, you could stop right here and just kind of smooth out the edges so you don't cut yourself on it when you pick it up. Um, but that wouldn't be any fun. So what I'm going to do, since this is a project symbol for me, it looks like we just barely have enough room to cut all the way around um, and not hit the holes. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just give it a shot and see how it comes out. So here we go. Roger all, Discovery. 
Sounds much different now. So all we really need to do is uh, smooth out the edges. You know, we don't want to cut ourselves in all these rough edges. So we're going to put a different bit on, kind of sand and smooth out the edges so that, you know, it's easy to handle and then we're done. <laughs> finished product. Let's check the edges. Feels smooth and rounded. Doesn't feel like it's gonna cut me. And I don't feel any burrs. That's good. It's not perfect, but it's certainly a lot better than it used to be. So let's get this polished up and see how it sounds.